Now, see how we have to discuss here, discuss here free and forced oscillations. Suppose you have taken a pendulum and this pendulum is here like this and it is displaced through the small displacement, a small amplitude and leave it free at, at this point. It keeps on oscillating. When it oscillates here with its own frequency and there is no external force acting on this pendulum, then its oscillation is said to be free oscillation. So, the definition of the free oscillations is here. If a system oscillates with its natural frequency without the help of any external periodic force, oscillations is said to be free oscillations. Its frequency is given here 1 upon 2 pi under root of k upon m. That means, natural frequency or frequency of free oscillation depends on the spring factor and the uh, mass that is called inertial factor here. And now, examples are here, one is the pendulum, if, if it is uh, displaced or if it is oscillate, oscillated and made free, it oscillates with, uh, with its own frequency. And also the prongs of the prongs of the tuning fork, if these prongs are struck with the suppose the rubber pad and it is made to oscillate, then it oscillates with its own natural frequency. So, these are the examples of the free oscillations. Now, see uh, what are forced oscillations. See uh, when a body oscillates with the help of an external periodic force with a frequency different from its natural frequency, its oscillations are called forced oscillations. So, now see uh, obviously, there is an external periodic force acting here and the body is oscillating due to that periodic force. So, see here when the body is initially displaced and oscillated with the help of the periodic force, body oscillates with its natural frequency. But after some time, its oscillation settles down and the body gains the frequency of the driving force. It means natural frequency slowly dies out. So, when the body starts oscillating with the frequency of the driving force, amplitudes are smaller and this type of the oscillations are called here forced oscillations. And obviously, the frequency of the oscillation due to driving force is different from the frequency of the, the different from the natural frequency. Now, say here, consider a periodic force applied which is on the body that is given by this equation f is equal to f naught cos omega t. So, omega t is the frequency due to driving force or due to external periodic force. Now, when this force is applied and already on the body the two forces are acting, one is the restoring force and one is the damping force. So, there are the three forces, restoring force, damping force and external periodic force. Due to combination of all these forces, the motion is represented m d to a d square x upon d t square plus b t x upon d t plus k x plus f naught cos omega t. Now, where here is the omega is the frequency of the frequency due to driving force. Now, we can write here the displacement after natural frequency die out. See here when external force is applied, initially the body oscillates with its natural frequency, but after some time this natural frequency oscillation die out and the body starts oscillating with the frequency of the applied force. So, when the frequency of the when the natural frequency die out, then the displacement of the body is given by A cos omega t plus phi, where the phi is the phase angle. Now, A is amplitude. Amplitude is given by F naught upon m square omega naught square minus omega square plus omega square b square raised to power 1 by 2. So, see here omega naught is the natural frequency, natural angular frequency here and omega square is the frequency due to driving force. So, here also is omega is here the frequency due to driving force, b is damping constant, f naught is the amplitude of the external force applied. So, this amplitude depends on the frequencies omega naught and omega as well as b also. And then the phase angle is also given by here nu naught x naught upon omega, omega area is the frequency due to driving force. So, see here nu naught x naught are the frequencies and velocities at the time t equal to 0 when the external force is applied. So, now see here this is the amplitude 
of here the oscillation or that is you can say oscillation due to driving force it is equal to f naught upon m square omega naught square minus omega square whole square plus omega square b square whole raised to power 1 by 2. Now, here first we consider when damping is small and driving force is far from natural frequency. So, see here driving force and natural frequency there is a big difference, there is a large difference. So, in that case we can take omega b is much more less than this quantity omega naught square minus omega square. If this is much more less than this, this step can be ignored. When you ignore this step, you will be getting a is equal to f naught upon m square omega naught square minus omega square raised to power 1 by 2. Now, in this case see here if this difference is very large then amplitude of the driving oscillation will be very small and the body will oscillate with the frequency that is called omega. So, with the frequency of the driving force, but its amplitude is very small. So, now see here the second case of here the forced oscillations already we have got this is the formula for the amplitude of the forced oscillation. Now, when m into omega not my omega is not square minus omega square is less than more much more less than omega b. Omega is the frequency of derived oscillations. So, we can write if this is less we can ignore here this part. So, we will be getting f naught upon omega b that is f naught upon 2 pi nu b. See here this shows finite value of nu and b here nu and b. From here it is clear this nu and b has finite value because a cannot be infinity. So, amplitude cannot be infinity. So, obviously the value of nu and b has some finite value it cannot be 0. So, now here the phenomenon of increase in the amplitude when the frequency of driving force is close to the natural frequency of the oscillator is called resonance. So, this is very important concept of the resonance it is coming from this part here 